I'm about to show you the most ridiculous PC setup you have ever seen. So, yeah. Here's my Dell Optiplex. No, Dell Optiplexes are supposed to look like this. Not this. Well, this is my computer. So, uh, if you are subscribed to my channel, you should you would know that I have two different computers, and one is a gaming computer with a core. I have a Core i9 9900K that I built in it, and I uh, also have this monstrosity. So what this is is a Dell Optiplex 3020, as you can see from the case, but I rebuilt it to put a GTX 1060 in it. So currently, um, it's running off of a. Uh, 650 watts EVGA power supply that I have a custom modded adapter for, which is what makes this setup amazing, is that I don't have to use this Dell stock power supply anymore. So this cable right here attaches to my 24 pin layout or 24 pin connector, and this allows for motherboard power, and then I have my st uh, standard CPU power over here. And the only reason that I needed the bigger power supply was for my... Uh, graphics card, but that also allowed me to get better clock speed out of my processor, which is an Intel Core i5, uh, 40, I don't know, it's a fourth generation though, and it's 3.2 gigahertz, and now it's clocked at about 3.5, so yeah, and then we're using a Samsung Evo 860 as our primary SSD, I have a one terabyte version of this in here, uh, I would not recommend this for a boot SSD, by the way, but it's something that I could store all my games on and stuff and not use a slower hard drive because uh, as much as I would love to use a hard drive, it's just, it's it's a lot of work to put in this setup. We have eight gigabytes of RAM made out of two sticks of four gigabytes, yeah, two four gigabyte sticks of RAM running at about a really slow rate of 1600 megahertz, but it actually runs really fast because of the Dell Optiplex optiplex system just kind of being optimized and i do have two sata ports i had a dvd drive in here that was in the front of this whenever this was an actual computer that i had that was in like a case and everything and i rebuilt it like this for the graphics card and the graphics card only because before i had a gt710 in this and before that i had a really really bad amd card which is what came with it when i bought this computer now Computers like this, um, you'll see for about, because it came with a 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, if you go on eBay, you'll look, you'll see about $120, $130, but I was able to get this PC at an amazing deal for $45 at an auction uh, on eBay, because I uh, did enough research. Then we have our EVGA power supply, which I kind of shortly went over, and we're only using three connectors from that. And there are cables that you can connect right in here, but we don't need those since all we need is the CPU power, GPU power, and the motherboard power. And 650 watts is way overrated for this, by the way, so never use that many. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to show you why this is the most jank PC setup you'll ever see. So firstly, what we have to do is come over here, turn on our power. This will turn on the computer power, the fan that's just sitting on top of the processor, not even in there, graphics card, power supply, and everything. It'll turn on my monitor here, and then you'll see a whole bunch of alerts for previous fan failure, rear fan failure, uh, front I.O. cable failure, and a couple of options. So we just press F1 to bypass that. And then we have a couple of options here. I have corrupted Linux on here, so I don't really use that. I just use Windows, so I go down to just use Windows. And we got our little Dell symbol, and it'll start loading. It doesn't take long since the SSD is relatively new, and yay, sometimes we have a screen flash like that. Oh, uh, well, now it's doing updates, but uh, I'm going to wait for it to do updates. Uh, I was restarting it, and um, yeah, it booted up into corrupted Linux because I wasn't paying attention, so let's try that again. Time, and usually this is how I turn off the computer, too. I just completely turn off, uh, turn it off, and as you can see, my little power switch over there will blink orange for a little bit and the motherboard light goes off and then i just turn it back on again and wait for it to boot uh i just now noticed this but my power supply is clicking listen closely that's not good but uh that's what happens when you buy certified refurbished power supplies i got the power supply and graphics card for about 200 dollars on uh evga um Oh yeah, the mid the midweek madness. I got them from midweek madness. Anyway, I'm gonna wait for this to boot up. And uh, as you see, I am booted into my Windows desktop. I'm gonna open up the task manager, and so we can go over the specs a little bit more. Uh, it has an i5 4570 CPU, which isn't terrible. I can do a lot of my work on it. Although it does max out a lot, it does have a whole four cores though. But I will say it's pretty decently decently fast. Uh, I'm able to run all my editing softwares on here. I got Photoshop on here. 
and I don't even use that, but the thing I use most for video editing would be Filmora 9, and it can handle that at no problem. It edits 4K video like a breeze. Uh, then along with the re memory, like I said, 8 gigabytes, 1600 mega, uh, megahertz. GTX 1060 with 3 gigabytes of VRAM, although it's kind of using a 10-year-old crappy 720p monitor because I bought a few of these at, a, at different sales, and I just got this for 5 bucks. I've just I've been using it for a year now. I just really never had the the need to really upgrade it like I don't use this computer on a daily basis I'm more at my grandmother's which has my other computer and that also has my 1440p 34 inch ultra wide gigabyte monitor so you know that's kind of different but I have this in the one slots for PCI because there's just only one slot on it and then there's a PCIe slot and you know i have gpu temperature monitoring and everything like that in here uh there's four gigabytes of shared gpu memory and at the end of this there's a big surprise because i'm going to show you that this graphics card fan is literally louder than uh, a ps4 fan so it's louder than a jet engine and let's see uh oh boy more updates but this is the jankest setup you're ever gonna see and yeah I gotta think of what to say next. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, it took me a freaking while to do this, but, um, because my Surface Pro kept dying, uh, we're not gonna call this a Surface Pro. We're gonna call it a Crap Pro, because that's honestly what it is. Anyway, so the fan speed right now is at zero on the graphics card, and I'm gonna hit check mark to make this go to 100, and we're gonna analyze how loud this starts to sound. So. I'll just start it, and as you can see, uh, it's up right now because I'm talking, but I'm going to let it sit for a few seconds just so you see what the room noise is at and then what it goes up to when the fan kicks in. It's loud, really loud. Yeah. And then whenever it shut, whenever you turn it down, it sounds like a jet engine turning off. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my graphics fan card. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining this video. That's pretty much it. Let me know if you uh, want to see more of this. Oh uh, yeah, it cools it down real quick, really quickly. That was at 102 degrees before. But let me know if you let me know if you guys want to see more of this. And uh, yeah, this is my setup. It took me months to build because I had to gather all the parts, find good deals. Two hundred dollars for uh, EVG Midweek Madness on here. I p ended up paying brand new Best Buy probably eighty dollars for this, uh, which you know that you can't include anymore because I don't use it. Then I have the SSD, one terabyte. It's about $120 on Black Friday. It was about 80 And then, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it. And then the four gigabyte RAM stick, and it ended up costing me $20, $25. And I think that's pretty much it. I didn't have to upgrade anything else. And it's a pretty decently working computer. Uh, it's fast. It's reliable. I can, you know, everything opens quick enough. Uh, of course, I just kind of spammed it right there. But, um, yeah, guys, thanks for joining this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, and peace.